Hello and welcome to Maker Bell, where I make things that are usually not bells. The Gen 9 starters have been announced and I am so excited. They are so cute and I need them. So I'm gonna make plushies out of them. First, I'm starting off with Grass Cat. This pattern's body is based off of an Eevee pattern by 1UP Crochet and there's a link to that in the description. I ended up altering basically all of the Eevee pattern and making it about a third smaller by using the magic of mathematics. Grass types are usually my favorite because they're all cute and planty. I have high hopes for grass cat's evolutions. They better leave grass cat all majestic and quadrupedal. I also hope that they add on more little plants. And no, I will not be pronouncing any of their real names in this video. I'm gonna say them wrong and then everyone will laugh at me. I'm brushing Grass Cat's ears and tail with a cat brush, which is pretty fitting. This tears up the yarn a bit and makes them a little fuzzier. At this point, it kinda looks like Gremlin Yoda. It gets better, I promise. I attach some yarn around Grass Cat's neck and then brush it out to make the floofy neck fur. This is my first time doing this and it actually goes really well. Grass Cat has a long flowy mane. I decided to carefully cut off the white parts around his eyes to make him less possessed. Grass Cat has white around his eyes in the picture but it did not translate very well to crochet. Here's the start of our good fire crocodile. At first I thought he was an apple because of the stem and his face looks kind of like a apple cut in half with the seeds. And then realized that he's probably more likely to be a chili pepper because chilies are hot and he's a fire type. But I'm still gonna call him apple croc because that's cuter than chili croc. Yell at me in the comments if you disagree. My cat definitely seems to disagree. He did not want to let me make apple croc. How rude. What even is this? It's a gold rectangular patch on his belly. Is he a robo apple croc? Does he have a belt on with a gold belt buckle? My friend says that it's his on off switch and I, I would not be surprised at this point. Apple Croc took the longest to make. Just look at him, he's got toes, he's got a belly patch, he's got an open mouth with teeth. And yeah, Green Cat technically has an open mouth with teeth that I did not make, but Apple Croc needed his open mouth with teeth. He's so cute with it. I saw in some or most pictures that Apple Croc's stem is gold, but in the original picture it looks more like green to me. These two colors are not the same. Editing Lexi here. I would like to formally apologize and say that these colors are in fact very similar upon further inspection. I'm going with green. I like green better. I'm 99% sure that green is the wrong color, but it's too late now. He will have an adorable green stem. Hat bird. Large wings, large hat. What does that mean? That's that's what my script says. <laughs> and here is Hatbird. He's got a hat, he's got some wings. It, it's a duck with a hat. I really like the majestic looking Pokemon, so I hope that he goes more towards legendary birds instead of Donald Duck when he evolves. Okay, Hatbird is my least favorite of the three. It's not Hatbird's fault, but I think that the other two have really cool designs and Hatbird is just Hatbird. Okay, you could argue that Grass Cat is just a green cat. I am a little biased because I have cats and cats are the best. I was originally thinking about also making up some evolutions and crocheting those too, but each of these guys took about a full day to make. And as Pokemon evolve, they generally get more complex, which means more parts to crochet. But if you want me to suffer, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make their evolutions after the designs are released. 
no, River. Yes, River. You c River, you don't fit. I'm filming. Fits. My cat River decided that I also shouldn't make cat birds, so apparently his starter choice is grass cat. And with that last W on Hatbird's hat, why why does Hatbird have a W on his hat? Hatbird is finished! I did totally forget to make him a tail, because he probably has a tail, but it's not actually shown in the picture. It's fine, his tail is not confirmed, so he does not get a tail. These guys are so cute, and I'm kind of surprised at how well they turned out, because it's difficult to make plushies without patterns, and it usually takes forever, and I had very little time to make them because I was in a rush. One thing I would have done differently is to give them larger eyes. I have these little tiny glitter eyes and I didn't have enough time to get larger eyes for them. But I think large glitter eyes would look better. At least that one doesn't look like a nightmare anymore. Out of these three plushies, I think Apple Croc is my favorite. Look at him, he's just so happy to be here. He was my second favorite at first, but you, you can't go wrong with Apple Croc. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video to appease the algorithm. And check out my other videos. In this video, I made a mushroom cows for my cat. In this video, I tried furniture flipping for the first time and it, it kind of went well. And feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out videos every week. Thanks for watching. Bye.